everyone, it's Jane with PositivelyJane.net. I thought I would give you a quick tutorial on how to take one single image, size it, duplicate it, and have multiple images on one canvas. This particular situation, I'm using it for a print then cut. So we're gonna go to the upload right here. I already have my image on my design space, but if I did not, I would click upload images, find it on my computer, bring it into design space. But since I already have it, I'm clicking on this tag and over here in the lower right hand side, it says insert images. I'm going to insert the image. It is selected because it has a um, rectangle around it, unselected, selected. It's very blurry, so I want to flatten it out for printing, so I'm going to flatten it out. I also don't like the size of this image. I know I want a two by three, so I'm going to either unlock it here or unlock it here, and I'm going to put in the, the size that I want in this situation, I know I want two inches, so 2.0, return. And then over here, I want a 3.0, and a return. And there is the size that I want. I'm going to lock it back up. I'm going to bring my image into the upper left-hand corner. And if, since it's selected, I'm going to duplicate it twice because I know I can get three across on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper or label paper or whatever I'm making. Um, I use Nina 80 pound cardstock. I am going to line them up visually, select all, and then I'm going to line them at the top. I just like them all lined up. Since they are all selected, I'm going to group them and then I'm going to duplicate them. And I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to duplicate it again because I know I can. I know I can get nine on an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper. So let's bring them up a little bit. We're going to select all. We're going to line them again, and we're going to line left. They are all selected, and now I want to group them all together again because if I do that, when I send it to my Cricut it will print them all on one sheet of paper. So let's click make it. It says print then cut. We're not mirroring it, we're just printing it. And we have nine on one sheet of paper. We're gonna hit continue, send to printer, deselect, add, bleed, and print. Since I'm printing tags, I, as I said, 80 pound needed paper, I'm going to click the poster board setting. It's going to tell me to print on my computer, I mean my printer, and then I'm going to send it to my Cricut. Hope that helps you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.